Hello and welcome. This is Dr. Tim Lipdrap, and we are here on our finance class, and we are talking about corporate tax rates, and we're looking at a corporate federal tax schedule. This is the U.S. federal tax schedule. This is not inclusive of uh, state or city taxes. This is just the federal level. What I like to do is I like to introduce you to the tax schedule, what the tax rates are in each of these um, areas, and then I'd like to go from there and show you how to do a little problem solving. Okay, so. First of all, let's talk about where you get your taxes from, the taxable income. We are look, this is not gross, this is taxable income. So I'm gonna bring us over to here, which is an income statement. And this is just an income statement from a problem that we had. You, it's a very simple one. You get sales and you get your costs, your depreciation. And then you have this thing called EBIT. And EBIT stands for earnings before interest in taxes. We're going to subtract the interest that this company has and then you have earnings before taxes. So this is your taxable number. That's the number that we use when we figure out your taxes. It's the earnings before taxes but we take out things such as cost, depreciation, and interest before we do this. So let's go back to the tax schedule. If that number on the income sheet is in between zero and fifty thousand dollars, you spend or you will be liable for fifteen cents for every single dollar that you earn in that category in taxes. That's what you have to pay, fifteen cents on every dollar. So if you make more than fifty but less than seventy-five, you pay fifteen cents on the first fifty thousand, twenty-five cents on every dollar up from 50,001 to 75,000 you pay in that's a 29,920 that's essentially oh, a 24999 is that what that is so if we were to do this so you would take this 50,000001 let me just take clear here 50001 you'd have 20 so for 24,999 dollars of earning in that particular category you can pay 25 cents on. If you make between 75 and 100,000, not only are you paying 15 cents on the first 50,000, 25 cents on the next 24,999, but on this particular line item, you're paying 34 cents on the money in this category, and so forth and so forth. And you can see you can pay 39 cents, 34 cents, 35 cents, 38 cents. Now, what this is also called when you go from one to the next, one level to the next, is your marginal tax rate. So every dollar earned after fifty thousand, if you get you move into a marginal tax rate of twenty five cents for that dollar. Okay. Let me run you through a quick problem set and show you how this works. So from the chapter we have the Algorand Inc has a taxable income of eighty five thousand dollars question is what is this tax bill what's the average tax rate and what's its marginal rate so the first fifty thousand dollars is fifteen cents on the dollar fifteen percent the next one is twenty five thousand which is twenty five percent and then the rate up to that is thirty four cents so then he must pay fifteen cents for the first fifty thousand plus twenty five cents on the next twenty five thousand and thirty four cents on seventeen thousand one hundred fifty why don't I go back and I'll show you how that works. So we're talking about the company that makes 85000 So the first 50000 that he earns is at $0.15. Cents. So he, since he made 85000 he's liable for the first 50 at $0.15, cents, which is, I just multiplied that out, is $7,500 in taxes. Then since he's in this, so he goes through this category as well, which is a $25,000 category, according to the textbook, and that's worth $0.25. Cents. So in this category, he needs to pay $6,250 in taxes. Then, they, by the way, that $25,000 right in that category, is, we're just rounding up. You have, he makes $85,000 to $75,000, so he makes $85,000. And we're going to subtract the low number here on this category, seventy-five thousand, which is we know just off the top of our heads is a ten thousand dollar difference. And they would owe thirty-four cents 
or thirty-four hundred dollars, thirty-four cents per dollar for that category, or thirty-four hundred because he had ten thousand dollars. So when I pull this together, they would owe seventeen thousand one hundred fifty dollars. The question now will ask for what is his average tax rate? Let's go back. So his average tax rate is you take the number that you pay in taxes, the so 17,150, and you divide that by what you started with, which was 85,000. Their marginal, their I'm sorry, their average tax rate is 20.17%. That's what it is. It's 20.17%. Let me do that again. This is what they owe in taxes, 17150 And you divide that by what you started with, 85000 So he's paying 20% in taxes, 20.1% 20, 20 in taxes. The marginal tax rate, when they're asking you what the marginal tax rate is, is on the next dollar earned, what what area would he be in? Which one of these rates would he be in? He'd be in the 34 cent rate because it's in this category right here. As you can see in this thing, it says the average tax rate is 17,150 divided by 85 or 20.18. That's the kind of rounded number. The marginal tax rate is 34% because their taxes would rise by 34 cents if another dollar in taxable income came in. So moving on to another problem to, sh to show you how this works once more. We have ABC company had $175,000 in taxable income. So in the $175,000 in taxable income, what do they need to pay in taxes? So we go back to our chart and we know that $175,000 falls into this category which I've labeled number four. So here's how this thing works right here. Let me pull this down. Oops, wrong button. We know that the first $50,000 in taxes, you pay $7,500. We know that in the second category, which is $24,999, this is more specific, you owe $6,250. We know that in number three, you owe $2,499. Uh, you owe, sorry, $8,500 in taxes. So we also know that he may make $175,000 based upon our question. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put $175,000 into here because that's as far as the tax bracket is going to go for them. So what I calculated out was the $75,000, that's what this column does here. If you can, it's hard to see here, but it's I'm having the G8 times this number, times the E8. So the G8 is basically this minus this. So this is how this... When the calculation is finished, for the first $50,000, they owe us $7,500. For the second category, they owe us $6,250, the federal government. Third category, they owe $8,500. Now, in the fourth category, which stops at $175, because that's where they stopped, is they owe us $0.39 cents on the $75,000 that they earned on each dollar. So that category right there, they, they owe $29,000, $29,250. Their total taxable income is what I, and I'm going to show you how, this, just how to do this. So I'm coming down here and I'm going to say this box is equal to the sum, the sum of these numbers right here. Press OK. They owe a total of $51,499 in taxes. With that said, we want to know what the average taxable rate is. So that we're going to come here, take the 51,499 they owe in taxes. You could round that up to 51,400 to $500 if you wanted to. And we're going to divide that by 175,000. That's what they started with. They have a 
average tax rate of 29.43, because I'm going to round there, percent. Their marginal tax rate is 0.39 or 39% because the next dollar earned is in this category. I hope this cleared up how to do these problems. Please let me know if you have any questions.